What's going on guys, it's OP Gaming here, and today's Destiny 2 video, oh my gosh, I'm excited that Destiny 2 just dropped, and my very first video for you guys today is gonna be the fire pit sentry in the farm social space. If you guys don't know, there are certain things that you can do around the farm to activate sentry times four. The first thing that you're going to need to do is run over to the top part of the ship area where Cade 6, uh, Shacks, all of them are going to be in, and you will notice that you will get Vertigo completed, Sentry Rank 2. You will know when you did it completely when your guy randomly turns blue and the left hand of your screen says Sentry Rank times 2 and Vertigo completed. Now the next step that you want to do, since your guy is blue, he will be jumping higher and moving faster and you want to go to the other building where the cryptarch is and you want to go on top of that the one with the wheel thing yeah you know this one took me a while I tried to figure it out but then I realized the only thing you can do is be a freaking hamster so you just gotta walk on this little wheel and it'll tell you wheel boost completed and I don't think you have to do a full rotation but you will notice that you will get two of the perks with century rank times four, which means you will be moving even faster and jumping even higher. At this point, we will return to the fire pit to relinquish our souls. Just kidding, it's to start a scouting patrol. What this is, is a checkpoint relay race that is timed. Yes, it is timed. You will lose your on scouting patrol buff and being all red and everything if you do not complete this in time. Now, I will let you know, if you do not complete it, you do not have to keep on going back and forth to get all the sentries. You just have to go back and start the fire. Now, there are several checkpoints throughout the map, and it kind of just makes a giant loop. Now, the first one you're going to notice is this box. It will be lit up, the dead orbit box. Following that is going to be this cliff. Right after this, jump onto this house, and the third one is going to be on top of the dome. Now look towards the wheelhouse, and there is your next one. Now you're going to want to be careful because the next one is going to be at the wheel on the wheelhouse. If you fall, you will die from jumping from the dome. Next one's going to be on the bridge where the pedestrians are walking. And then this next one is going to be in the hole in the roof of the shipwrecked building. Now jump through the hole and go over the building and you will find yourself at the spawn point. Now this last one was a little tricky. You're going to want to find this tree area and you're going to walk through the trees and that's going to be the second to the last one. Now the last one is going to be at the pier. It ends on the pier and what happens is super special. It tells you your time and then fireworks go off. Is there anything special about it? Not necessarily, other than you get this perk called Scouting Commander. What the Scouting Commander does is you have all the abilities of the Sentry, except for the Scouting Patrol. You have an activated agility boost with an awesome little blue streak behind you. Now, when your companions are near you, or if you're in a fire team, you give them a buff as well. When they are close to you in proximity, they will have this same agility boost as you. And that is it, guys. That is how you complete the sentry fire pit, or whatever you would call it. Um, it's super easy. It took me a little bit. Pretty sure you guys figured this out, but if you enjoyed this video, Hit that thumbs up button, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe because I will be pushing out more content of Destiny 2 here pretty soon. Anyways guys, with that, as always, I shall see you later, suckerfish.